And it's Florida State at 9-2, and two, Miami at 6-8. and eight. Hurricanes coming off of a Sunday night loss against Notre Dame. As he works it outside the arc, inside for Koprovica. Takes a couple hops across the rim. Offensive board grabbed by Gray. And a floater down the lane falls for Raekwon Evans. Koprovica, a high percentage finisher at the rim, 60% on his field goal tries. That three drops for Cameron McGusty. Catch and shoot opportunity for McGusty bodes well. Here's Walker down the lane and off the fingertips and through. Yeah, this is a team that likes to play with the chip on their shoulder, let the nation disrespect them, keep them out of the 20, top 25 leading up to last week. Repeats as good as any. Great steal from Gray on the back end, trying to lead the break, takes it himself, up with the right hand, off glass for two. Disappointed because so many bright things were in front of them this season. And Coach Elton knows that about this team, but he's going to continue to coach them up. They're going to continue to fight. If Miami was full strength, this would have been one of the better matchups in college basketball in the ACC early on. But we're still playing, and they're going to fight because that's what this team does. Dropped 23 against the Seminoles. And Perhaps to give himself an early birthday present today. He'll turn 20 years old tomorrow. Shoot, shoot, bank down a three, build the lead, coming right off the bench. There's long, short corner step, and he gets it to drop. This sequence right here is a prime example of what Miami best case could have hoped for if he grabbed that rebound. Florida State is not sharp in shooting the basketball in some moments here. They've had at least a crack in the door because Florida State has played down to the level so far in terms of offensive execution. But again, Florida State's defense rises to the occasion. That's a big shot. So Earl Timberlake out indefinitely with a shoulder injury. Elijah Olaniyi, a shoulder injury for him, making him day-to-day. -day. And Nasir Brooks picked up three fouls already. There's not many guys personnel-wise that can match up with a talent like Scotty Brooks. Oh, and what a beautiful finish. He ran baseline to lose Beverly and then cut into the lane. No advantage against this Florida State defense. You can't find one. And that's what's so interesting, too, Jordan, there is that bucket goes for Osborne. It's just too much that is out injury-wise for Coach L's Kane squad to knock down shots and keep this one close current. Even the two you might have expected to see today. Osborne feeds it forward for Evans, eyes up into the lane, and uncontested finish at the basket. Koprovica against Gak, and the fadeaway, an impossible to defend shot. Just another facet in the elevation of this Florida State offense as it's grown this season. Long behind the line, hits the three, and has a chance to make it a four-point play. And then see what the second half may offer. Can't worry about time and score. Just worry about making plays in the last two minutes of play. Jordan, we know how much they've struggled from the three-point line. State simply not giving you anything that feels like can be comfortable dribble penetration or work that ball around to get good looks. This is an opportunity for Miami, generating some turnovers and some get out, some runouts for some early stuff. Cruising over their last four games since coming off of a COVID pause, winning by almost 18 points a game, shooting almost 50% from three. Starting a little slow on offense today. Walk the rainbow pass to the outside for McGusty, scored 20 on Sunday. Walk himself averages 17 a game. He waited for Gray to come down and splash the three right over top of the big man. So the trouble for Miami turning the ball over has continued. Which they've done nine times, scored eight baskets, and Koprovica with a strong drive to the rim. Speaking of Halls of Fame, by the way, congratulations to, to Brian Morrison. On goes to work, trying to get by Evans. Ball trickles away, two on the shot clock. McGusty's got to let it go, and he hits. Florida State with five to shoot. The pull-up is pure for MJ Walker. Stan Jones said he's just playing at peace with himself this year, knowing who he is and how he fits on this team. Dan Gack takes the drop off and has the emphatic answer for Miami. Stretch offensively of basketball we've seen from Miami in a while.
averaging 86 points a game in that stretch. They vaulted themselves into the top scoring team in the ACC. A couple of first layup tries for Gray on this possession have not dropped. Calhoun, though, is almost unimpeded to the basket. Can't even look at my Twitter <laughs> timeline anymore. Oh, Blackberry, Blackberry up next. <laughs> the steal from Walker and the finish. They can come at you in a blink of an eye. More importantly, this is where fatigue can start to show its its face. Wilkes an open three. It's good. Scored 22 out of 31 that dropped through. Isaiah Wong pokes that away. Doesn't convert. Harrington tracks it down. Barnes thought about it instead. Finds Osborne who turns to celebrate with his own bench. Where Florida State would land this week, seeing as they were outside of the top 25, was would it be fair to put them in the top 10? And I think there's a good case for that. Miami was supposed to be a top-tier team this year. If they ever can get fully healthy and put it together for a season, they will be one of those teams worth watching. I'm glad you fleshed that out, Jordan, because it's an important point to make, and it's an important point to reiterate as well. Beautiful drop-in from Calhoun. And just said, are you having fun this year? And you can't always have fun. A record of six and eight, you've won two of nine ACC games. Being able to execute things the way you want to when you get the most important 40 minutes of your week twice a week in ACC play, and you're not able to do that when you're down to six or seven healthy scholarship players. Be steal more wins. In games like this versus Florida State, it's a horrible matchup without Chris Likes and to be shorthanded just in general. Live around Tallahassee and his grandkids are there as well. Well, Mike, it speaks to the product too, right? Like, well, they've got such a good thing going at Florida State. Why would you pursue other opportunities? Keenly aware that this Florida State team, if COVID didn't rear its ugly head, might have been last year that that national title came their way. A higher power that you don't have the choice to sit out the conference tournament and go play in the NCAA tournament. If that firm instruction comes, frankly, there's definitely going to be coaches out there that don't want to have the conference tournament and then go play in the NCAA tournament. No question. Oh, my goodness. Sadar Calhoun reaching to the moon to stop that through. Life above the rim. Calhoun, go up and get it. On the way to yet another blowout victory. It'd be their fifth straight. Wong quickly silences those assembled in Tallahassee with a triple. She reacts like that you know what kind of team you have. I mean, the excitement coming from the guys on the sidelines speaks volumes. They have, but the lead is still 22, a chance for more. Wong has the mismatch here if he can drive. He draws all the defenders inside. Three couldn't stop him. Harden behind the back and just bullies his way right through Beverly to the bucket. Best games, Jim Laranega said, that his teams have played this year. The ones where they came away victorious. They beat NC State and Louisville in ACC play. They've been able to stop teams from getting to the basket. Not the case today. Put a century mark up on NC State, but among these recent wins, NC State, North Carolina, Louisville, Clemson, which has been the most impressive? It's a connected, balanced group. It's how they produced. And some of these spurts, when they're truly in the zone, we talk so much about a Gonzaga, a Baylor. From outside the top 25 to number 16, only make their case to push even higher.